Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming in process of campus drive for 2025 and I hope you know that this is for SP role and DSC role. So if you are preparing for this then this video is for you. So how to prepare and what is the coding questions exactly they are asking and what type of questions they will ask you will get to know in this video soon. So let me discuss all of these one by one. So at first you have to know there are total three coding questions you have to face so one will be easy one and second one will be medium and third one will be hard one so easy one will be from normal stack tree like uh, stack tree graph and so on and for medium this will be from directly greedy algorithms okay so different greedy algorithm you have to follow okay and the third one will be from only dynamic programming dp so among these three questions you have to solve at least two or 2.5 questions so that you can get selected for the upcoming interview okay so after that you will have to face technical interview and hr interview nothing else so i hope you understood so this is the cutoff you have to achieve two questions at least or 2.5 to get selected for the higher rules okay now the question is how to prepare for this round effectively so that is you have to prepare the previous set questions you have to give the mock test right so please visit topmate.io slash techno underscore web there we have premium infosys materials from there you can achieve everything like for ac role if you are preparing then quantitative aptitude logical and if you are preparing for sp role or dsc role then there is uh, like sp coding questions also dsc coding questions mock test interview preparation materials everything there so you just visit that topmain.io slash technology web and just get the materials here like all the things you want okay up to hack with infi everything okay and you can see the feedback of our candidates as well like we have been recognized as 0.1 percent top performer in uh, like top mate so this is the level of trust we built okay and just see the feedbacks of my students here so i hope you will have the materials with you so let me show the sample like actual questions which was asked earlier to dsc role and sp role so thank you let's start is regarding possible string okay so you are given a string s you can perform the following two operations on s any number of times possibly zero so remove the first character from s remove the last character from s okay so you can perform this task and also you cannot perform okay so possibly zero so find the total number of distinct non-empty strings that can be generated okay so input format is this the first uh so this is not properly visible so first line contains a string s uh, containing the given string okay so denoting the given strings so, so let's see the sample input output so the first input is this a a a a a so output is five how because you can generate total five such substring which are distinct and non-empty okay so that's why the answer is five as you can see a a a a a a a a a a and five a right so this way you can generate total five such substring in which all the substrings are unique i mean distinct okay so that's why your output is the size of the total substring okay so the second sample input output is this so if the sample input is z only then output is one because you can generate only one substring from this which is unique or distinct and also non-empty so that's why the output is one and the case three is this a b a b a output is nine how i'm explaining so a b a b a right so a b a b a so you can generate total how many number of substring that is n into n plus n so n is the size of the substring okay so here 5 is the size okay so total substring possible is 5 into 5 plus 1 by 2 so 5 into 6 that is 30 by 2 that is 15 okay so let's generate the substrings so a a b a b a then a b a b then a b a b a then b b a then b a b then b a b a then a again a b a b a and b a sorry b again and b a right so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 okay and again a a okay so in this way total 15 substring are possible right but 
what are the unique and non empty i mean distinct so a is repeated so let me remove this and ba is also repeated in here b present so ba is repeated and b also present here so let me remove b and aba is also present here so let me remove the aba and ab is present here so let me remove ab here and a is also present so let me remove a so i think uh, all the substrings are now unique and non empty okay so let me count the total number of substrings such that uh, where all the substrings are non empty and unique i mean distinct so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so in this way your output should be 9 as well okay so the output is 9 so i hope you understood right so what's the task is and what you should do okay so if you understood then please start solving the problem if you can't then wait don't skip any moment so i'll solve you i'll solve the coding question in java and python both so wait for the python solution i will solve the problem with java right now okay so actually i have written the solution so let me show you so let's discuss with the main function at first so at first i am calling the function and which is taking only one uh, argument that is the string okay so let me go to the implementation of the function that is a static function so that we can we, we can call that function without creating the object of the class okay and this is returning an integer number that is the size of the string okay si size of the set okay and this is the name of the function and it is taking one argument that is string s okay and we have to create a set so that we can all we can just take we can just generate the unique characters right as set only take unique uh unique things right so that's why we have to create a set uh, object right so that's why we are creating a set so set of strings substring is equal to new hash set so hash set uh, so set interface is being implemented by hash set class okay so now we are getting the length of the uh, string that is n is equal to s dot length okay then we are going through all the element of the string from zeroth element to the uh, last element i mean the length minus one element right and then in the inner loop we are going through start plus one element right so that means from this element we are starting from this loop okay and we are going up to end less than equal to n that means up to a okay then what we are doing we are using a uh, method of set interface that is add okay so this method enable you to add something inside the add some string inside the set so that will be unique also and in this we are generating the substring so s dot substring a, a start from end right so start is equal to the zeroth element and end is equal to the start plus one so a b okay so i hope you understood so in this way we are just generating all the possible substrings but it will only include uh, the unique substring because we are having set okay and after all the for loop we are just returning the substring dot size okay that means the set size and we will get our desired output okay so i hope you understood and here we are just calling the function and printing that okay so let's run it and see if this is right or not okay so for this string the output should be 5 and this the output should be 1 and for this output should be 9 okay as you can see as expected right so 5 1 9 5 1 9 so let's go to the python solution if you have not understood yet then please let me know in the comment section and you can also damn me at my id instagram.com slash techno.tf to discuss more and you can join our telegram channel also t.me slash you can now okay and uh, one thing i forgot to say that is i have imported hash set and set so that we can implement hash set and set okay java.util has set java.util set okay so i hope you understood okay so let's go to the python solution so again i am requesting if you underst didn't understand then please let me know in the comment section okay i will try to assist you so let's go to the python solution so 
the same logic uh, are implemented here so at first we are calling the function and this is having only one argument that is a string and we are just printing the same okay and let's go to the implementation of the function that is count distinct substrings this this is the name of the function and s is the argument this is a string and substring is equal to set so we are creating a set to store only unique substrings okay and n is the length of the string okay so for i in range n so 0 to nth element and for j in range here also start plus one from two n plus one okay so that means less than equal to n right so i hope you understood then we are adding substrings dot add inside the set we are adding using slicing method s i is to j so from let's say so a b a b a right so i means zero so it will start from here and j means at first i plus one so that means a b so it will store i to i plus j that means a b it will store that okay so this way it will store and when the j will be increased when i will be increased this will gen keep generating the substrings and only the unique substrings will be added to the set okay so i hope you understood and after all the for loop we are just printing the length of the strings okay substrings okay so i hope you understood let's run it again see if this is right or not as expected right so 519 so i hope you understood the logic i used here so if you understood then please let me know in the comment section and subscribe this and please watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and please suggest me which company content do you want more before ending the video i'll again request you to have the prime materials of infosys in which you will get all the things which will be covering everything you must need okay so please have that and the link will be given in the description box thank you